All right, Bosco 100. How's it going? What's the deal, man? Man, just out here. Came out to L.A., you know what I'm saying? Where, Get where it in. Uh, Rialto. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right by San Bernardino. Not too far. I know where it's at. I know where it's Well, let's get into it, man. You know, you got a big boxing match coming up with Gonzo. Easy work. Easy work, okay. Easy work. Easy work. Uh, so how, what all, how did everything start with you guys? I know you guys have kind of been going back and forth for a few years now. Yeah, it's been a few years now. Yeah. Uh, Actually, it just, like, it kind of just came out of his admiration for me. Like, you know what I mean? He seen me popping on the internet, has been a rapper. Like, you know what I mean? He seen me opening another lane. and You know what I mean? He just wanted a part of it. So he just jumped on the bandwagon, started going at me. We were going back and forth. Like, you know, simple shit. Man. Nothing too complicated. Did you guys ever have, was it real beef? Like, was you guys... I mean, we got I just always. Him. It was all the internet shit. Like, it was just all even, just yeah, talking I don't even on know the him. internet. Yeah, I don't even know him. Like you know what I mean? It just he seen me on the internet. Well, I seen him talking some shit. Like you know what I mean? We kind of was. It was like around the time we both kind of got into it with Wack One Hundred, and I seen him. I kind of got into it with Wack, and then I seen him trying to like latch on and like trying to jump in it and get to saying some sideline shit. So I had said something about him one day, like, like, nigga, this nigga trying to like take off and basically trying to be me now, and like, you know what I mean? And he just like, just jumped on, just like, you know what I mean? Just became my nemesis, like that just made him like he just focused his whole career goals and whole life goals on Bosco, like, you know what I mean? And whose whose idea was the boxing match? Mine's. And you had a connection with some with how, yeah, how did I had everything? some people. I got had some people that knew some people, and the situation came about like, oh yeah, we got the platform with you up in. Can you? Uh, is there anybody you want to box? And he just was the first person I came. You know what I mean? Celebrity boxing type shit. He was like the first person that came to mind. Like, oh, well, you know what I mean? He ain't really a celebrity, but he famous enough to. Well, you know what I mean? He known enough to like make it a good a good situation, so I just picked him. How's it gonna be distributed? Um, we, honestly, like, at first we had a different deal. At first we was going through BLK Prime, but then after the momentum of the fight and everything, Snoop, Snoop Dogg actually ended up, he seen it and he got in touch with us and so we got like a whole new deal, you know? so now we dealing with Triller now. Okay. Oh, that's part of Snoop's. Snoop um, is part of that. I'm not sure, like, but yeah, he got a relationship, some kind of relationship with him for sure. Okay, is Snoop gonna do the uh, the announcing, commentating. I, think commentating? So. I, I believe so. I'm not exactly 100 percent sure, but I believe so. I believe so. Okay. And how you been training? Yeah, I've been. How's yeah. that going? It's cool. It's cool. I'm getting it in. Like you know what I mean? It's a. It's a. It's a it's a gradual process, like you know what I mean. Like I ain't gonna be a fucking Olympian overnight, but you know what I mean. It's a work in progress. I'm working. Yeah, I uh, interviewed Snapdog. Oh, did and, you? Yeah, uh, recently. Yeah, and he, you know, he. I guess he used to box and. Yeah, he was. I remember seeing him heavy in the gym and shit. I actually had words with him one time. I, I said, I think I called one of his songs garbage. And he just, I like, oh, beat your ass. He responded with some shit, but I, like, yeah, yeah. much bullshit. But I, I see he heavy into the boxing thing, though. Know, like. Yeah, yeah. Uh, from what I hear, he's always calling dudes out. You know, yeah. he, uh, I think he called uh, Soldier Boy out recently. And who wants to fight Soldier Boy? Yeah, uh, I mean. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't think anybody's really responded. Oh, this is groundbreaking. Like, me doing this is ground because none of these rappers, like, like, when, like, it's like in history, you've never seen no rappers get in a ring and really go throw them hands. Like, it's like this beef, like, beef shit when people got beef and go back and forth. You never see none of these fools throw no hands or it never comes to a point where they really, all right, let's get in the ring and put the gloves on and really settle. Like, and nobody does it. Like, so this, like, some monumental shit right here. It would be the first time. Yeah, I nobody, believe so. Nobody never did it. Who, what rapper or celebrity you ever seen like really just get in there and settle their beef 
old fashioned way, put the gloves on and knuckle it out. Like, you haven't seen it. Like, you've never seen none, none of these dudes. Like, like, just think of every classical hip hop beat. You've never seen any of these dudes get in the ring and put a, or even go get in the street. Like for that, you know what I mean? They ain't got in the street and they definitely ain't got in the ring. So it's like, this is monumental shit right here. Yeah, yeah. Are you guys getting paid? Of course. Mm -hmm. Okay. Paying you guys good and everything? And is yes, it going to be out here in LA? No, it's in Atlanta. Atlanta? Yeah. It's going to be in Atlanta. April okay. 17th, Atlanta. April 17th, okay. Yeah. That's right around the corner. Yeah, it's coming up. So. Okay. How long you guys been training for it? Um, I'd say about a good month now because we had a different situation. So it's been about like a good month of training. Like, I mean, we're not professional fighter. We're not professional prize fighter. So it's like we can't just become a prize fighter overnight. But you know what I mean? We for the match it is like you know what I mean? It's cool. It's gonna be straight. When you get in there, are you, are you gonna stick with the techniques? Or are you just gonna? Who knows? Let's go old school on them. <coughs> I mean, who knows? Excuse me. <coughs> who knows, though? Who knows? How many rounds? I'm not sure because this is a new. I'm still like, I'm still waiting on the new details because we had a, like I said before, it was a, it's a whole new situation now, a whole new deal. So now I'm, I'm still waiting on the details and how everything going to go down and shit. Two minute rounds or you don't know? You don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Well, man, that sounds dope. I'll be watching. Yeah, yeah. Sure. You know, I think you predicted a second round. Yeah, I said that. Knockout. I said that. Oh, I said he going down in the second round. He's going but down. Yeah, knockout, technical. Uh, just whether his corner throw in the towel, whatever happens, it's gonna happen in the second round. All right, man. Well. I just want to see a good fight. I'm glad to see two men yeah, like, putting their different, you know what I'm saying, and just getting in the ring. Like men, you like know? you're supposed to do. Like, 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 if you a real dude, you're supposed to want to get in there and throw them hands, and that's, you know what I mean, yeah, what it is. Yeah, that's what's up. That's yeah. what's up, man. You told a story where you had to shoot your friend. Damn, I said that before? Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. Like, it was, uh, I guess, uh, uh, he wanted to sell it. Your homeboy just took his gun. He did, yeah, couldn't go back to his like, hood. Damn, you found that? How the fuck you find that? That's some old school shit. Like, I don't even remember. Like, if I told that story, I probably told that shit a long time ago. Like, it was you, like a few, it was a few years ago. You found that shit? God yeah. damn. God damn. Yeah. I mean, it was just like, it wasn't even my friend. Like, it was just a dude that I knew. Like, you know what I mean? And... Basically, like, basically he was selling, he was trying to sell, he was trying to sell something. <laughs> it was just a dude, like, I knew who he was. It wasn't a friend, but I knew him or whatever. He was a Hispanic dude, and basically he came, he came around and he was trying to sell something. And what he was trying to sell, sell I guess it belonged to somebody else. So he was going to get in some real trouble and, um, he came around trying to sell something, and one of my homeboys took it from me. He took it and didn't come back. So he was like, I can't go back. I can't go back to my people's without it, like, or the money or something. Like, I can't do nothing. Like, it was like, fuck. So basically, like, he like, all right. Like, act like you guys robbed me. Just like, like, fucking shoot me. Like, fucking shoot me so you guys shot me or something. Like, I can't go back without, like, they gonna kill me. Like, basically, like, so he really rather get shot like this fool like wanted to get shot rather than go deal like so I guess he must have been dealing with some pretty serious characters like whoever these dudes was he was dealing with was some serious dudes because he really wanted to sit back and get himself shot like it was crazy it was crazy and this happened like 20, 20 years ago right years ago years okay so just for everybody listening that's gonna 20, yeah, yeah. go at least 20, at least 20 you know. years ago yeah at yeah least 20 Okay. It was crazy though. Like he can't like man, just shoot me, just shoot me, son. Like it was like somebody else tried to shoot him first and he missed. And they're like what the fuck? So I kind of just like how did he miss? He wasn't close enough. I I don't know. Like I guess he just missed. Like I don't know. He missed. Like it, the shot went off and he missed. And then it was like 
like fuck, like you missed, you missed. And I was just kind of like, like, like get over here, bye. Like, like you know what I mean, kind of thing. Like it was crazy, it was crazy. Did it did it mess him up or anything, or he just nah, was, went to the hospital real quick? And yeah, it was hard. Right. You still doing any music? Um, yeah, I still work on music, time to time. It's not like it's not a major priority in my life, but you know what I mean. I haven't like. I haven't completely walked away from it. Like it's not it's not like what I do all the time, but I still you know what I mean, from time to time, certain situations I'll still get it in. Shooting music videos or just making some music? I mean I just did a video I did a feature for a homegirl of mine and I did a feature, it was um what was it called? Uh damn. I smoke so much weed, I can't even remember this, the name of the song is, uh, oh, I can't even think of the song, bro. fucking brain freeze. But uh, it was with my homegirl T. Hottie. I can't think of the name of the song, though. It was my homegirl T. Hottie, though. And, um, oh, True Shit. The name of the song is True Shit. It's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. Check that out, True Shit. I don't know where else at, but for sure it's on YouTube. The song is called True Shit, though. And it's with the homegirl T. Hottie featuring uh, Big Guff out of Detroit, one of my Detroit partners. And uh, it's dope. But that's like the last little music video song I did. Because I found another story that was pretty interesting, too. <laughs> about uh, you was on a, a train, and there was some dude that was like kind of, I guess, going, going off on everybody. Out. Yeah, yeah, that was crazy. That was like actually the last time I rode the train, too. Like, I was a. Uh, that's when I first caught my case, and uh, I used to have to go downtown LA to go see my house arrest officer. I was on house arrest, and I used to ha have to go see the house arrest officer, so I used to just take the train down there. And um, I was on my way back one day, and this dude just jumped on the train, and from the time he jumped on the train, his energy was just like, you know what I mean, it was just like, all right, watch this nigga. So I'm watching the nigga. And um, I don't know, he was just, I don't know, he had to be on drugs or something, sherm something. Like, this dude was just like, jumped on the train. Like, his whole energy was just, it was just like, you know what I mean, aggressive. And, you know what I mean, it was like other passengers. He like, bumped around. Like, just like, I, you know what I mean? I, I didn't like his energy, so I already had in my mind. Like, all right, like, if he come over here, my direction, I'm a, I'm a cream this nigga, like, I'm finna, cra I'm finna crash blood. Like, basically in my mind, I told myself, like, all right, if he come over here, I'm finna crash blood. So fast forward, this fool come over here, and I crashed him, like, he soon he, st he came, he stood over me, and he was, like, standing, so I just politely stood up and knocked him the fuck out, like, knocked him the fuck out on the track. I still got the score on that. Matter of fact, this the score on my knuckle right here, I I'll never forget. I crashed him right in his mouth, right in his mouth, hit him right in his mouth, and his teeth went through my mouth. My hand was fucked up for the longest because his tooth went through my hand and fucked my shit up, but, you know. What, everybody on the train, what were they? It was kind of like, like, yeah, like, like you could tell it was like, like, yeah, like, oh, like. Because, you know what I mean, it was a little white couple, he was bothering them, and it was just a lot, he was just like, he came on with bad energy, you know what I mean, it's just, my energy didn't match his, it, it didn't, it didn't coincide with his energy, so I just, I wasn't feeling it, so I had to crash blood. Right? Was he like a gangster dude, or was he like No, yeah, real... it was a gangster dude. Like, it was a gangster dude, but you could tell he was on some kind of drugs or something. Like, he was tripping, like, you know what I mean? He was like a gangster dude, like, you know what I mean? But he was on drugs, like, I, I mean, man, it didn't matter. Like, you just brought your energy to me, and it just like, you know what I mean? I had to crash blood, put blood in his pockets. Not too long ago, Casanova got picked up by the feds, Same. or he turned himself in, technically. And he's looking at a lot of time, you know. Um, at, looking at some <laughs> Definitely looking at some shit. I mean, when it first came out, I was like, I kind of didn't even really, you know, it doesn't seem like he did anything he, that's worth what they're trying to give him. You know, he's looking at... I think he can't even get bail. No. Nah. That's just serious. That's a serious case he's dealing with. Yeah. That's serious. 
Yeah, I don't think it's uh, a fucked up case. I think it's a real fucked up case, but it's a serious case. I mean, I guess supposedly they got like uh, DMs and shit. And All kind of shit. It's, just, it's not looking good. And he got a 10 year mandatory minimum sentence. And he just went on the Breakfast Club. It's like basically vouching for 6 9 kind of excusing 6 9s behavior. And saying, like, I don't know, like, to me, honestly, like, to make a long story short, I, it don't look like he gonna keep it solid through this one. Like, I don't, I don't see him, like, you know what I mean? He already complained, and he ain't even been in jail a good six months. He ain't, he ain't been, I doubt it had been a good 90 days. And he already complaining about visits, and people sending him money. It's like, nigga, it's like, you was just out here on the street, boy. Like, nigga, you were, like, you been in jail, like, not even, like, nigga, you been in jail 90 days. You already out of money. Like, you gonna only spend, you in the fucking, like you in the fucking lockup, you ain't even in prison yet. Like you in like lockup, you can only spend like what a hundred and fifty dollars a week, one twenty five, two fifty a week. Like let's say when I was in county jail, the, the most you could go is two fifty a week, and from two fifty a week, so what's that? Two fifty a week. Just say if you was in your jailhouse ball and you going two fifty a week. So you can spend a thousand dollars a month. That's five hundred every week, two fifty. So that's a thousand dollars a month. Like nigga, you ran out of money in two, three months. Like you already out of money. Like that shit don't make no sense, bro. It's like nigga, you complaining about visits and small shit like that, niggas. That's really in the pen. It shit just like weird, bro. I think I seen a headline with a. Uh... Uh, somebody and they was like, "Yo, he's gonna have to snitch, or he's gonna do a lot of time." Yeah, and he already. Ba to me, it seemed like he. I mean, I don't, I'm just just my opinion. Like, I'm not saying that's what he gonna do, or it's just my opinion. Like, he don't he don't seem like he about to keep it solid. Like, he he seemed like he gonna tell. Like, I see him telling. Like, my prediction, I see him cooperate with the feds and and telling on everybody. So you think those uh those tweets are like. It's, it's like gonna a, be his it's like excuse. It's like a prequel. It's like a prequel to the bullshit. It's like he gearing up to snitch. Like he already like you know what I mean. You ain't been in jail that long. You already oh niggas ain't been to visit me. It's like he already getting the people ready. Like and that seemed like that's gonna be his excuse. Oh well, these niggas wasn't looking out for me anyway. These niggas like nigga, everybody, all your peoples is in jail with you. Like that's why the fuck you got a RICO case. Cause nigga, all your friends is in jail too, nigga. It's like nigga, kick back and like, you know what I mean? But he tweeting all this bullshit. It's like that don't sound like no solid nigga shit. Like the tweets that you tweeting out, it would, it's weakness, bro. You showing weakness, like just a like that lame attorney. You showing weakness, period. Bro. I mean, he's been on interviews talking about he's stabbed like how twelve people or. But now you ain't more? Even been in jail. But you've been in jail not even barely ninety days, and you already crying and shit. Like get your goofy out. Like I, 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 honestly, I just I don't see him keeping it solid. You already ain't keeping it solid to me. Like you know what I mean? Like either way it go, your career over. Like uh, either way it go, like if you go to if you hold it down and stay solid and go to jail for ten years, your your career over, and your girl like like you know what I mean? Somebody definitely gonna fuck your girl. And your career definitely ain't gonna be shit. Like either way it go, you in a fucked up situation. So I don't see him. I basically don't see him keeping it solid. I I see him pulling the whole six nine. Like that's what I see. So you think either either way his career's over? Because if he if he obviously if he snitches, if he his snitches, career's your over. Career over. But if, if he does snitch, ten, and you go ten, your career his is career's over. over. Either way it's over with. And either way somebody gonna fuck that pretty little light skinned girl you got. Uh, that either way it goes, somebody gonna get that little pretty. <laughs> like somebody gonna get that pussy. Somebody gonna be eating that ass. Like you know what I mean? Like either way it go. Like either it's a lose lose situation. So either you gonna stay solid and lose, or you gonna snitch on everybody and lose. Man, he has Fuck sold himself as like I, I don't know the dude, so I don't know anything about his history or nothing. But he has sold himself as the you know the biggest gangster in Brooklyn. Uh, you know, I I can't I can't vouch nothing for him. You know what I mean? So if you're gonna go, either way it go, your career over. That career should 
I mean, it wasn't like he just was had no hot ass music out like that anyway. Like, that fool ain't really had no songs like that. So it's like, you know what I mean? Like, either way, it was like, it's gonna come to an end. So it's either you're gonna keep it solid and lose, or you're gonna snitch and lose. But either way, you're gonna lose. It's a lose lose situation. It is a lose lose. I agree with you on that, man. Speaking of, you know, famous people that, in trouble, man. You know, uh, from the first time, you know, I heard of the baby. You know, he always just been getting into fights and getting into trouble. And you know, I think uh, not too long ago he got caught with a gun on Rodeo Drive, or some, allegedly. Some shit like that. Yeah. You know, got caught. I mean, he human. He just like you know what I mean. He a human. Like they, people be forgetting that celebrities is human. Like just because, just because a motherfucker got a lot of money, that don't mean. They not susceptible to the same urges and the same rules and shit as everybody else. But you know what I mean? Well, I think it also, you know, in my opinion, I think that is, you know, you a certain way from when you was a kid and you get older and just because you get famous, it's not like you can just turn it off. You've been this way for 10, 20, 15 years and now you get famous. It's like... Human, you it? know what I mean? Yeah. You know, I mean? you know gotta, I'm gonna be I'm who still, I'm gonna be. I'm still impulsive as the next motherfucker. Like, you know what I mean? I'm impulsive. Like, nigga, I, I got feelings. I react to shit. Like, you know what I mean? Sometimes I don't think. And, you know what I mean? I'm just, I'm human. Like, it's like, you know, what I mean? motherfuckers are human. You know what I'm saying? So even if though you've gotten popular, yeah. you know what I'm saying? People, other people see it and they like, man, you know, I think, uh, you know, he's got a future. You know what I'm saying? He's doing good. He's you know, on his grind, man, it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think people kind of, you know, some people want to see you lose, but some people also want to see you win. You know what I'm saying? And when they see, you know, celebrities that they like going through some shit, you know, I think they just, uh, you know, I think they also forget, you know, where they, you know, how, where they come from and, you know, what they've been through and everything. That's what you call Hollywood. That's Hollywood. I mean, when you get to that point, that's when you Hollywood, like, you Hollywood. You forgot where you came from, like, you don't know how to be normal, like, it's like, it's like a, it's like a bitch, it's like a bitch that can't do nothing without putting on her makeup, like, you know what I mean? You become Hollywood, it's like, you can't even be normal anymore, like, everybody has, like, you don't even feel comfortable letting me see you without makeup, you have to just present yourself with makeup, like, you're not even, like, you know what I mean? It's just Hollywood, it's like, Weird as fuck, bro. I mean, do you think that that happens a lot? I mean, do you think... I see it happen tons. It happens all the time. I see it on Instagram every day. Like, I see, like... I see girls, like... There's, there's girls I follow, like... And they just... They gotta be... They wake up early in the morning. Six, seven o'clock in the morning. Put on makeup. And, like, it's like... You can't even be normal. It's like, like who just has on makeup at six, seven o'clock in the morning just for no reason? Just sitting in the house. Like, it's like... Like, just be you. Like, you so scared. Like, you so, you got to put on this facade or present this character. Like, it's like, fuck the character. Just be you. Like, be you. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not no character. Like, I'm not, like, a lot of, I don't know what people think or how people perceive me, but it's no character. Like, I'm just me. Like, I'm Bosco 100. Like, nigga, I'm, I'm a grown-ass man. I've been through what I've been through in life. And the shit that I've been through and the experiences I had gave me the mindset that I have. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and it's just, it is what it is. Like, Do you so, feel pressure from people like... No pressure. From, from uh, just from the fans or just from, you know what I'm saying, what you, it's the no popularity pressure. you've gained to it's, like... It's no pressure because I'm me. Like, that's what I'm saying. It's no, ain't nobody making me, like, don't nobody force me to say the things that I say, like... Then nobody make me like I'm just me. Like I really like I really became famous off of being me. Like I basically could say like I have an award winning personality because I got famous off of being me. Like I haven't like I had it. I don't I, like it's nothing I have to do. Like I just wake up and wash my face and I'm me. Like you know what I mean? I'm just like you know what I mean? I don't have to put on a wig. I don't have to put on a beard. Like I don't I don't have to do anything. I don't have to. Like, you know what I mean? I don't, I just wake up and I be me. And I, I got famous off of being me. Like, Were you always like 
the dude that was joking and all that, all talking shit jokes. to everybody and yeah, like, I mean, I don't, like nobody just talks shit to everybody in the regular. Well, I, I don't mean literally like but everybody. Yeah, I, I always, mean like your homies. Yeah, and, I always been like that. You know, I always had a joke. And you know what I mean? I'm a so funny shit. Or like, yeah, it was just on me. Like, it's just on the internet. It's a lot more people to deal with, so it's always something to you know what I mean. It's always something to talk about or it's always like it, when you in your group like or you in your normal everyday life it's not that much shit going on so it's like people don't see that all the time but on the internet it's some shit constantly going on you did like, you looking at millions of people and there's shit constantly going on like so it's always something to talk about you know what I mean that makes sense man it's, it uh Always gives it, always gives you some way to yeah, it's just keep always, it going. Yeah, you just you give me the fuel for my fire. Like it's like basically like you know what I mean. Like like your little yachty, your little yachty is fucking like uh, like he always does some weird, strange shit or fucking Uzi Vert or fucking Soldier Boy. Like they they you know what I mean. You got all these people in the world and they constantly do weird, strange or strange things and it's. So it's always some material, or always something to talk about. It's like, you know what I mean? Like, one of these people, like, if I follow 100 stars, at least 10 of these stars going to do some shit, some weird shit today. Like, you know what I mean? It's, it's always <laughs> something to talk about because they just constantly do weird shit. Or, like, you know what I mean? It's just, or it's something I can make a, it's like, not, like, I don't, I don't, me personally, like, I don't maliciously, like, stalk celebrities or like like you know what I mean maliciously go at these people trying to start beefs like that's not what I do like you know what I mean but like you people are entertainers you people are people in the public eye so a lot of the shit you guys do makes it onto the internet so if you if you like like you know what I mean you're a celebrity so if you doing these things people are already talking about it like you know what I mean like like people already talking about this shit. So me, I'm just another person that's talking about it. I just I just got to a point where my opinion is more valid than, you know what I mean? My opinion is valid. So is it, everybody's gonna have an opinion about what you do because you're in the public eye, but I just brought myself to a point where my opinion is, is like warranted. Like, you know what I mean? People wait to see what I gotta say about shit now. It's just like, you know what I mean? Like, everybody has an opinion, but everybody's opinion isn't important to people. Like, you know what I mean? And my opinion just became important for the culture. Like, I mean, at the end of the day, though, like, this shit is entertainment. Like, people got to, like, stop taking this shit so serious. Like, at the end of the day, like, you look at the internet to be entertained. Like, you look at the internet to be momentarily taken out of your regular everyday life. Like, you know what I mean? So it's like... My job is when I'm when I cut that camera on and I get on I'm entertaining like that's not I don't just walk around bagging on people twenty four seven all day every day like you know what I mean I'm living like who cares like who has that much time to pay attention but when I cut that camera on and I jump on the internet now I'm in my zone like I'm in I'm here to entertain now it's not you know what I mean it's, so it's just like it's just a it's like an on and off switch like when I cut that camera on I'm you know what I mean? Scotification game, Bosco 100, get over here, nigga. Stay focused, blacks, pause. Like, you know what I mean? It just, but when I cut the camera off, it's like, you know what I mean? Who cares that, like, who's paying that much attention to everybody else? Like, I mean, it's just like, you know what I mean? I'm not just walking around bagging on niggas all day. Or like, you know what I mean? I'm living my life, chilling regular. But when I cut that camera on and I'm sitting here and I'm doing this, that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm entertaining right now. So, I'm, you know what I mean? I seen you had some kind of back and forth with Charleston White. Yeah, he's a clown to me. Like he's a fucking clown. Like he he was cool. Like at first, like I found him entertaining at first. He was kind of funny, but the more he told you, just a fucking clown to me. Like, talk about a bunch of. But I mean, that's cool. Whatever you're doing for the community, but you talk to him. He talked to a fucking bunch. Yeah, you know, I I kind of don't. He he. Kinda goes at everybody but then he tries to at the same time say he's on some positive yeah it's stuff. like weird it's like bro what the fuck are you even talking about then the shit like he just a whole contradiction clown clown everything fucking clown you know man what i felt was like i don't know if you've seen it but man he was like dissing biggie everybody tupac 
He just all Nipsey. over the place. Just a fucking clown, like straight clown. You know, and I'm like, yo, what? I don't understand that. Like, how you gonna? Di- they're dead. They're not even here. They can't defend themselves. Cause he just a clout chaser. You know? Like he ain't. He think he fooling somebody. He just a fucking clout chaser like anybody else. He say anything to get some attention. And I said, like, that's a clown, though. Like, you know what I mean? He like a 6'9 to me. Like, him and 6'9, like, the same type of... They in the same boat, as far as I'm concerned. Two clown niggas. Start a bunch of shit and then run to the police. Yeah, fucking clown. Fuck yeah, man. I seen that, uh, I believe... I mean, he had missed the snitching. You know? Fucking clown. Being that, you know, you've kind of bagged on and, you know what I'm saying, went out... Went off on quite a few people, man. Are you ever worried about your safety? I never worry because I don't maliciously attack people. Like, I don't just maliciously bag on people. Oh, you bitch ass nigga, I'm gonna fuck you up when I see you. Like, like whatever you want to do, let's go fight. I don't do that. Like, that's not what I do. Like, I, you know what I mean? When people come up in the in the tabloids or the blogs or when they come up in in the hot topics. Everybody's talking about you. I'm just another person that's, you know what I mean? I make my my little jokes, I get my little jokes in, and that's it. Like, it's nothing personal. Like, I don't know you. Like, I don't see you. Like, I'm not hunting you down and looking for you, trying to find out your phone number, or, like, weird shit like that. Like, you know what I mean? It's just a joke. Like, I'm an entertainer. Like, I'm a comedian. Like, I... I label myself a comedian. It's just, like, you know what I mean? It's just what it is. Like, what's the difference between Dave Chappelle seeing what you did and him having some jokes or Bosco seeing what you did and having some jokes. What's the difference? Like, you know what I mean? Like, just like he a comedian, I'm a comedian. Like, if he seen something you did, he joke about it. It's funny, but if Bosco see it and joke about it, we got to have beef. Like, Bosco trying to beef. Like, well, I got to be beefing. Like, I got to joke like just like the next nigga. You know, shit. Do you feel like people take you more personal than other people? Yeah, because, honestly, because I think it's because I'm um, you know, my background, me being a real street dude, and me, I think it's just like, it's like real niggas can't be funny. Like, oh no, you a dude from the street, you can't be funny. Like, what's the difference between Dave Chappelle shooting on you and, and joking on you or Bosco? Like, what's the difference? Like, because he he got paid to be a comedian and I didn't. Like, like you know what I mean? It's just like, it is like, what's the difference? Like, like. Dave Chappelle can sit here and roast the fuck out you all day and it's just funny. But if I roast you, you got to come kill me with a gun. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you got to come hunt me down and take my life because I roasted you and had some jokes. But it shit don't even make no sense. Sometimes it feels like you're being serious, though. I mean, I just mean, from I my serious. perspective. I am serious. You know, I'm, I'm not saying you are being serious. I'm just saying, like, man, I, I look at your stuff like, man. No, I'm serious. He because, nah, he's just joking. He's just joking. Yeah, I'm just you know? joking, but it's just, this is my opinion, but, like, you know what I mean? It's my opinion, but it's, like, nothing personal. Like, who cares? Like, I don't, like, you know what I mean? Like, this is how I feel. Like, this is what I saw, and this is what I feel about what I saw. Like, if you want to take it personal and, like, you know what I mean? Like, who, like, if you do, that's like fucking, it's like Kanye West. Kanye West shaved his mustache off, so he takes the picture, looking fat, shaved mustache. And I'm like, I just feel like I don't trust men without a mustache. Like, that's just me. Like, that's my opinion. Like, like you open yourself to public opinion. So just because I say, like, this nigga look crazy without no mustache. Like, so he should want to hunt me down and kill me because I say he look crazy without no mustache. Like, so what? Like, fuck, right? You know what I mean? That's between you. Like, I just said what I said. It's nothing personal. You don't have to see me and, you know what I mean? It's not like when I see you, I'm going to run up to you. Yeah, Kanye West, you're a bitch because you have no mustache. I want to fight you because you don't have no mustache. Like, you know what I mean? It don't even make no, that shit don't even make no sense. It's just like, you know what I mean? My opinion is my opinion. You're a public, you're a public figure. So when you're a public figure, you open yourself up to public opinion, especially when your business is all over the internet. You open yourself to public opinion, and that's it. I'm just, I'm just a man with an opinion. The difference between me, I'm a real nigga with an opinion. Like, I'm a nigga that really come from the street. I really did, like, you know what I mean? I really was a street dude, and you know what I mean? But I, at the same time, I'm still intelligent. I'm not an idiot, I'm not a dummy, and and I'm actually actually charismatic and funny, like, so. Man, I appreciate you. Go ahead. 
you know what I'm saying? Thanks for having me, bro. Yeah, for sure, for sure, man. Um, you know, it was a dope interview. I, I laugh at your shit. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? No, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Make sure y'all tune into that fight April 17th on Triller. Bosco versus Gonzo. I'm finna beatbox that nose. And, uh, you know what I mean? Shout out to Snoop Dogg. Shout out to Slab MMG. Shout out to Rick Ross. Shout out to all my niggas that fuck with me. Shout out to Inglewood. You already know Inglewood stand up. You know what I mean? Sure. Appreciate you, bro. That's what I'm talking about.